Hi everyone, wanted to do a quick video to try to help the people that are using a Mac computer with the Epson ET8550. Um, what I do is I design my image in whatever program I'm using and then I save it to my downloads folder. So if I'm using Design Space, I will save it as a PDF and if I'm using Canva, I'll save it as a PNG file. And then what I do is I go to this magnifying glass Type in downloads, click on downloads, and then open the file that you want. And I'll go ahead and open my Tumblr file. So now you have your image that you just saved and you'll want to go to file, all the way down to print. And this is what this screen should look like. Now you might have something different here if you haven't used this printer before but you can go ahead and just select um, what you want here and generally I would do premium presentation paper mat. I'm going to keep mine on last use settings because I like the settings that I have. So you'll want to make sure that your paper setting is correct here. And then the only other thing on this page is scale to fit and print entire image. So you'll want to make sure that these two are selected. Then you'll want to come to this button and go to color matching. Now here you'll want Epson color controls selected. Some people have tried color syncing to Cosmo ink and they're not having much luck with the colors. It actually looks better just leaving it on Epson color controls. So click that one and then you'll want to go back up to, oh, I'm sorry, go right here. And the next thing you'll want to do is go to print settings. And this is where most of the important stuff is taken care of here. This is where you turn on if you want your image to be mirrored and then where you want it to print from the paper feeder. So this is the rear paper feeder on, located on the top of the machine and you can change it. Um, cassette 2 is in the front of the machine and then Cassette 1 is in the back. Oh no, Cassette one's for just little envelopes and photos so I hardly ever use that one and generally the rear paper feeder is the one that I like to use. So I select that. And then here is where you can change um, the type of paper. A lot of people have had good luck with plain white paper, so you can try that. And then um, I would also recommend trying the premium photo presentation paper and see how that works for you. Your color should just be listed as color, Epson Vivid. And then here you'll want to change to best quality. And then go right here to advanced color settings and this is where you can actually adjust your colors. So I've had really good luck with my colors being, you know, pretty much close to what they um, set it as. I do like to adjust my saturation a little bit and then generally I'll do my brightness just a tiny bit. But here's where you can play with those. So if you're not getting enough yellow, you know, you can adjust um, what you think needs to be done um, based on your exact printer. And there you go. Go ahead and then sit print and um, hopefully this will help somebody. That's how I have been printing mine and I think my images come out really good. And here I'll kind of show you an example of it printed out. So you can see that my black is pretty black and I do have really good color. So hopefully this helps somebody.